Oregon, Washington, Alaska, and Colorado legalized cannabis for recreational use for adults. None of those markets have any advertising because it's federally prohibited. You cannot legally advertise on our airways, radio, or TV cannabis. Uh, otherwise, you would believe that particularly in a place like Colorado and Washington, they would be doing that. So there's the evidence that anyone needs. It's a Schedule One drug. It's prohibited federally from being advertised. If they ever lift the veil on advertising and allow it, which I would vehemently argue against, uh, as a proponent for legalization. I do not believe it should be advertised on television or radio. Uh, in our initiative, we actually prescribe a remedy that says it cannot be targeted towards our kids. That advertising is restricted towards adults. That is a constitutional uh, component of our initiative, meaning uh, there is a lot of scrutiny as it relates to the constitutionality and free speech rights uh, for advertising. Uh, we took the language that we believe is defensible in that respect, uh, but we are very specific by saying that it cannot be targeted towards our youth. And on edibles, which is an issue that's an additional issue, uh, we do not allow edibles to be designed uh, that are friendly towards youth. We actually learned from the mistake of Colorado that is not allowed from day one in California. Harder transparency, stronger transparency requirements, uh, packaging resealable requirements, and no edibles that are targeted towards our children. So again, those are legitimate concerns. We believe we've addressed them substantially. Uh, we'll have to continue to monitor that. Uh, and we are going to, I am going to continue to extol the negative impacts of cannabis on young people that use it for recreational purposes. Uh, it is not healthy for young people to abuse any kind of drug. And particularly for young folks with brain development issues, um, 0 to 14, 0 to 24, some of them are suggesting and beyond that, this is not something we should be condoning or celebrating, quite the contrary. And that means we should be investing resources to send that message to our kids that just because it's legal for adults doesn't mean you should use it, doesn't mean it's healthy for you. Now, but there's still going to be branding and, you know, uh, names uh, and appellations and things like that. And, and, and companies are probably cannabis companies are going to, you know, try to get. Yeah, well, they're doing that already. So, I mean, they're doing that with medical. Again, we've had de facto legalization since 1996. We have a huge medical industry in California. A lot of it's in the shadows. It will be more transparent um, into the future, even if we don't pass Prop 64 with our new medical regulations. Uh, I think people will, will expose how big an industry this already is and how branded the industry is increasingly becoming. Um, so yeah, that's certainly the case. Um, and you know, for adults that want to use a little pill uh, instead of using Ambien, they use a little pill with cannabis so they don't have the side effects of Ambien to go to sleep. I don't know that that's unhealthy. If someone wants to use a, a branded appella appellation in Humboldt or Trinity or Mendocino um, and with a husband and wife want to uh, you know vape something instead of having that second shot of Jack Daniels I don't know that that's particularly unhealthy for the 70 year old that may never wanted to touch this all of a sudden has a little bit of a relationship with his wife or maybe his kids because a little less stressed after a hard day's work and on the road for two hours and usually he's going for that bottle of booze but he's no longer I don't know that that's particularly unhealthy when he's home so those you know I, you know good people can disagree uh, but targeting our kids absolutely not and we're going to keep an eye on that and we got to hold our accountable. I do not want to see that happening. Big tobacco uh, should not become big marijuana. And if we start to see the contours of that change, we're going to have to be very, very aggressive in regulating and pushing back on that.